Our text, Luke 23, verse 43. And Jesus said to him, Assuredly, I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. Our heading, total forgiveness. Have you suffered acutely? Then at such times you know to some degree what the price was which the Savior paid. His bodily pains were great, hands and feet nailed to the wood, and the iron breaking through the tenderest nerves. His soul pains were greater still. His heart was melted like wax. He was very heavy. His heart was broken with reproach. He was deserted of God and left beneath the black thunderclouds of divine wrath. His soul was exceeding sorrowful, even unto death. First, we must think of the pangs which he endured which were the equivalent for what we ought to have suffered. What we must have suffered had we endured the punishment of our guilt forever in the flames of hell. But pain alone could not have redeemed us. It was by death that the Savior paid the ransom. Death is a word of horror to the ungodly. The righteous has hope in his death, but as Christ's death was the substitute for the death of the ungodly. Second, he was made a curse for us, and the presence of God was denied him. His death was attended with unusual darkness. He cried, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Oh, think you earnestly on this. The ever-living died to redeem us. The only begotten bowed his head in agony and was laid in the grave that we might be saved. You were bought then with a price. A price incalculable, stupendous, infinite. And this is the plea which the Apostle used to urge upon us, that we should be holiness to the Lord. Application. Clearly, beloved, who professes to be followers of Christ, that this matter of you being bought with a price is an indisputable fact to every Christian, to every person listening or reading here, it is either a fact or it is not a fact. I scarcely need to ask whether any of you are prepared to abjure your redemption, and yet, professor of the faith in Christ, I shall put it to you now. Are you willing to have the negative put upon this? Will you deny that you were bought with a price? Will you now confess that you were not redeemed on Calvary? You dare not, I am sure. He would rather die than abjure your belief in it. I pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you for the revelation of the truth of Calvary and that we were exposed to it. In Jesus' name, Amen.